Hello everybody, and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori. Today we are playing some uh, Minecraft. Uh, we're on the Skyrealm server, um, and I wanted to show you, it's uh, Hell House is working on our pig spawner. So, you know how they're clumping up and they're not dying properly? So he's, he, he got us another pig spawner, and it's in the process. He's still working on it. He's not on right now, but he's working on put some lava there. He's working on our upgraded pig spawner to hopefully resolve that clumping issue. And then when I got in, I was looking around at it. I saw these name tags. Uh, Zuko71 says hi. I like your vids. So, looks like Zuko71 paid us a visit and left us a little message. Thank you, Zukos. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, but what I want to work on today... See, and then the last time I got on, this was running. The water was running. I tried to replant it. All the potatoes are just popping out. Anyway, um, what I want to work on today, and we get more and more dogs, is um, I'm going to build an upgraded uh, cobble gen. So this one's been working out just fine, right? But I looked at a couple designs. I thought about it a little bit, put together kind of a couple together my own idea that I think is going to work, and so that's what we're going to um, be working on today. So basically, it's going to be seven by seven. So I'm going to make the base nine by nine. I'm going to start it here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two. Maybe we better build it over, move it over a little bit more. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. That'll still give us some room there. And one, two, three, four. So we still got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Will that give us room to get up there? Yeah. Trying to position it. So this is not as quite as tall as some of the other ones I've seen people build. Is that gonna give us enough room through there? Yeah, we'll put it back one more over, I think. along here, just here. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting a chest here. And we are going to put some hoppers attached to that. the way the water side is going to work, it, it tends to collect stuff. And now from here we're going to build it uh, four tall. And okay, I'm trying to think. Oops. Here 
here will be the back wall. So this should be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And there's the mid line. I always kind of want to keep in mind where the mid line is. Oh, and we need some, we bought some glass. We need pistons. I made everything I needed except for we need five pistons. So we actually, let's leave the center clear for now because we gotta install those pistons here in a minute. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So it's going to be like going to be the piston layer, and that's going to be one above the piston layer. So we're going to have just enough space, it looks like. it's kind of hard to see what's going on okay so we got our pistons in place and then we can just fill in our cobble here so these pistons are going to be shoving the cobble down I'll take them from take it from here and then I'll shove it down there Build this out one more. And we need to build this out one more. And it's got to go one level higher, and this is going to build go all the way to the top. Oh, well, we can have cobble like along the 
side. So, and our water is going to be on this side and flow down there, and our, uh, what you call it, is going to be on this side, lava. And we're going to put glass here. Oops. Intend for that to happen. We're building the cobble gen, A. Eh? Okay. So the lava's gonna go here. Water's gonna go here. The pistons, when I mine, are gonna push it down. So now we just have to add in uh, a clock. They call a clock. A Minecraft clock. Oh good, I can get up over here. Nice, that's gonna work out. So we need some of this. Seven, we're going to open them all the way up. And we're going to put a button right there. And that's going to start our clock, right? So every time it hits here, it's going to fire all those repeaters and kind of a delay as it goes around the circle. And it's going to do it again. And we're going to be drilling right here. Digging right there. I'm going to break it for now, though, I think. And we can reset. Oh. Gotta give it a second for the signal to go all the way around the chain. Because I want something in place here. Come on now. All right. So when we put our water and stuff in, it doesn't cause problems. Okay, so we need five water. I move my water source over here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can go up top over here. Okay. Then we're 
just gonna go one, two, three. Back to the other side, we'll put our lava in. So this may not be like the most efficient use of resources or the best design or anything, but I think it's gonna work. And that's what I care about. Okay, so. So, that's doing it. Boom, shoves it down. Make sure I have the right axe. Yeah, I have the knife. So it's doing it. Oh, I don't wanna get in there when it's, shove it down, okay. So I can get as close as I can, and the reason I built it five long was because that way I don't ever break through that back wall. Now, seems like I should speed it up just a hair, doesn't it? And this is lossless, so the way it's set up, we don't ever lose anything to the to the uh, to the lava that's the whole point in the end okay it's totally working and then when we want we can check our chest there should be a diamond coming through there I thought I saw a diamond go down in the end did we pick it up come on don't tell me we lost the diamond it's supposed to be lossless that's the whole point Okay, so that, oh, that lava is still open there, so you got to be a little careful. Okay, let's see if I damaged it. So is that working a little better? We can speed it up even a little bit more. If you get it going too fast, then it doesn't have time. There's that diamond. And then it doesn't have time for the um, uh, you got to give it time for the cobble to regen. You know what I mean? For the lava to make it to the water. So if you get it going too fast, it won't do that. I think that's pretty good. So there you go. And if you want to stop it, then you break this here and it stops. And then if you want to restart it, you put that there and you click the button. Boom. So there you go. There is your lossless cobble gen. It's a little shorter than some of the others I've seen. Uh oh. Danger, danger. Something happened. Okay, there we go. Oh, it was a lag or something. Okay. Okay, so maybe with the lag is messing up the timing. Maybe we gotta. Maybe we should open that back up. 
Because I think that's the issue, is we're getting a little lag here. Alright. So that seems to be working better. There we go. Okay. So there you have it. Your lossless cobble gen. It's relatively compact. It's a little shorter than some of the other ones I've seen. And I could have built it one down. I could have embedded that chest in the ground and stuff like that and that would have been that would have been fine but I had enough room to build it to build it here so let's see what we got in here goodies that diamond I love that diamond so I hope you enjoyed the episode if so go ahead and click that like button Ooh, let's let's see what okay I'm gonna hit F5 and see what it looks like when we're mining from outside that's oh there we go <laughs> all right well thanks for joining me everybody uh, i hope you enjoyed it go ahead and and click the uh like button if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to the channel um somebody was asking ace master was asking if we could do a a face reveal at 250 but i think that's too early i think that's coming up too quick but uh Maybe we'll do a face reveal sometime. What do you think is a good number? I think it's got to be way more than 250, though. But anyway, so, if you want to see a face reveal at some point, you better subscribe to the channel, and we'll figure out a number for that. Um, and until next time, take it easy.